to start off with what Welcome to RetroWare TV. All right, all right, all right. We can do this. We can do this. All right. We can. We can beat him. We can beat him. We have to beat him. Remember what happened last time? He just wouldn't shut up. You can do it, Lance. You can do it. Okay, okay, what do, we, what do we have? We have an ace and a six. Ace and a six. What, what should we do? What should we play? What should we do? Let, let's, let's try a six. Let's try a six. We can do this. We can do this. Do you have uh, any sixes? Nope. Go fish. Damn it. Do you uh, have any aces? Aha! I oh, win. Great, here we go again. Of go oh fish. man, I can't if take this anymore. Kingdom, I can't take I it again. I can't. Not again. Peasants. Not again. Not again. This is a serfdom. You are in the serfdom. I am king. This is why the women covet my junk because I rule at Go Fish. I am the Go he just, Fish. He just, he just won't shut up. Are, All right, Lance. Think, 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 think you your happy place. Think of your happy place. Think of your happy place. Think of your happy place. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of From Pixels to Plastic. I, of course, am your host, Pixel Dan, and this is my third and final part, taking a look at Street Fighter toys. Whoa, dude. Lance? Pixel Dan, dude. W uh, what are you doing here? I really don't know. I was playing a card game with John, and I was thinking of my happy place, and I ended up here. This is your happy place? No, I was actually thinking of the Playboy Mansion, and... Don't know what happened. <laughs> so, so anyway, while you're here, I'm doing an episode on Street Fighter toys. Dude, I could totally help you out with that. I have these yeah? soda toys. They're freaking awesome. Excellent. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and take a look at your soda toys. In 2003, State of the Art Toys, also known as Soda, launched a brand new line of highly posable, six-inch scale action figures based on the Street Fighter franchise. Soda's goal with this line was to make the best representations of the Street Fighter characters ever created in toy form, and chose to model the articulation and designs of these new figures after other popular toy lines of the time, such as Toy Biz's Marvel Legends. The first wave of figures released included Ryu, Sagat, Sodom, Chun-Li, and M. Bison. Soda aimed directly at the collector market with these toys by only selling them online and in specialty stores. Even though these weren't available at your everyday brick and mortar toy store, they were an instant success. This first wave sold out quickly and became very much sought after. Soda continued this series with a new concept that toy lines didn't normally run. They always left it completely up to the fans on which character would be included with every wave. Soda always predetermined one figure for each wave, but then allowed collectors to visit their website and vote on who else should be released in that same wave. This strategy continued for most of the line, and as a result, many popular characters were released, including Vega, Blanca, Ken, Cammy, and many more. Of course, just like with previous lines, each figure ended up with many variations and exclusives. Most of the time it was a change in costume color, but sometimes they went as far as even making the figure translucent or even glow in the dark.
After four waves of figures, Soda launched a set of preview figures. This set included a new version of Ryu, Ken, and Akuma, all utilizing a new body sculpt that future figures were to utilize. Unfortunately, round five hit a bit of a snag as the company reorganized and decided they were just gonna release these figures one at a time on a month by month basis, only online. Eventually, the whole round five figure assortment was scrapped and the line was reorganized and renamed as Street Fighter Revolutions. Round one of Street Fighter Revolutions saw the release of the remainder of Street Fighter 2 characters that had not yet been released. E Honda, Dalsim, and Zangief. Armica was also included, and to date, this is actually the last set of Street Fighter figures that Soda has released in this scale and style. But for fans of the ongoing game series that want to continue collecting, NECA has recently begun releasing brand new action figures based on the art and design of characters from the newest game in the series, Street Fighter 4. The figures are highly poseable and very detailed, as most of NECA's work usually is. The figures are made to resemble the stylized look of the new video game. They do a great job of capturing this look, though some fans may not enjoy this style and be turned off by the look of these figures. However, if you do like it and you're interested, these figures can be found on store shelves right now. Street Fighter has come a long way in toy form since their first figure release in the G.I. Joe toy line. With so many types of Street Fighter toys available, there is bound to be a set out there to meet everyone's preferred Street Fighter game. And there's sure to be a lot more to come. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up my look at Street Fighter toys. I want to thank you guys all for joining me for another episode. And I definitely want to thank you for stopping by, Lance. It was Dude, really great to have it, you. It was, it was fun. We got to do this again. Definitely, definitely. absolutely. So I got to ask, how are you planning to get back home now? I, I was thinking of doing the happy place thing again, and except thinking of home this time. Let's it's a good it. idea. Yeah. I think we should definitely give it a try. Yeah, I, I really don't want to pay, pay for airfare. Right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, so let's, let's do it. All right, let's go. Come on, you can do it, Lance. Happy place. Come on. There's no happy place place. like home. Come on, Lance. There's no place like home. Think hard. You can do it. No place like home. There's no place like home. Whoa. 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 Where? Where am I? Oh shit. Get over here! <laughs>